Hello, we're ready for unit two, week three, day four. All right, we have been talking this week about where animals live. We have read about animals living in the forest, at a pond, in the bayou, and we've also talked about sometimes animals can be at zoos and maybe even your house. All right, so let's start with some of our vocabulary words. What is the habitat of dolphins and whales? The habitat. Hmm. Let's think about habitat. What does habitat mean? It's the place where they live. So where do dolphins and whales live? In the ocean, right? In water. They need water. All right. Whom do you depend on for things that you need? Who do you depend on for things that you need? You depend on your family, right? Maybe it's your parents or your grandparents or an aunt or an uncle, right? Or a foster mom, foster dad. You depend on the people that you live with to provide you with the things that you need, like food and clothes and a shelter to keep you safe. All right. Where might be a good place for an animal to hibernate? Hibernate means. Hibernate means that they sleep for the winter, right? I'm thinking of a bear. A bear comes to my mind. Where does a bear hibernate? In a cave? Okay, that would work. All right, let's talk about our next thing. What is your favorite tranquil place? Tranquil means calm and peaceful. Oh, my tranquil places. I love to go to like a lake or an ocean just listening to the water. Oh, it's so peaceful for me. Where is a peaceful place that you like to go? A tranquil place. All right. Can you tolerate loud music? Maybe you can. Maybe you like your music loud, right? I like my music loud. Can you tolerate itchy clothes? Oh, that would drive me crazy because I'd be itching all day. I don't think I could tolerate itchy clothes. Could you? All right, now we are going to read a story called Way Down Deep, okay? And as I read it, I want you to think about the habitat of where the animals live. All right, here we go. Way Down Deep by Mary Ann Hoverman. Underneath the water, Way down deep, in sand and stones and seaweed, starfish creep, snails inch slowly, oysters sleep. Underneath the water, way down deep. All right, so where are these animals at? They are in the water, right? They're in the sea. Okay. How is the sea kind of like a, the pond? Remember the pond at the pond story we read yesterday? How is it kind of the same? Both of them took place where? By or in the water, right? It had to do with water. Okay, but how is it different? In this story, they're talking about animals that live way down deep below, right? And in the Pond yesterday, we talked about ducks, turtles, frogs, right? And how sometimes they can be in the water, sometimes they're on land, right? So that sounds a little bit different. They're not way down deep at the bottom of the sea, right? And this one's a sea, where the other one was just a pond, right? And the sea is a lot bigger and a lot deeper. All right, now we're going to read another story. We've already read this story, so I want you to read along with me. Okay, are you ready? All right, here we go. The Best Spot. This is a forest. This spot has lots of animals. Deer live here. They eat plants. But who is in the grass? A rabbit's head pops up. 
what is up there? Look up, up, up. It is a nest. The mom gets big bugs. Yum. What is on the trunk? It is a nest too. Lots of wasps live in it. Ants live here too. Ants pick up twigs and grass. Ants zip in and out. Ants have no rest. Ants dig under sand and grass. This is their way in. This is an ant digging. This is the queen ant, and those are all of the eggs. And all of these, this stuff is food. Where they store their food. Fox kicks hop on a stump. Mom fox lets the kicks run and jump. The kicks must eat. Dad fox hunts at dusk. Who went hunting to? A skunk! This spot has lots of animals. Alright, feel free to go back in our video and read that again if you'd like. Good practice for our reading. Alright, here we go. We've been talking about end blend. Okay, like in the word nest, S-T is an end blend. All right, let's tap some of those words out. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, um, hunt. D-S-K. Desk. Or, and, land. All right. Let's talk about what these are. What is this girl doing? She is jumping, right? So we're going to do jump. Let's tap it. J. Um. Jump. J. U. N. P. So jump. What's this a picture of? Skunk. Let's tap it. Um, skunk. S, K, U, N, K. And U and K is a glued sound. We will learn that in foundation. Uh oh, what happened to this boat? It was in a wreck. Right? Let's see. Oh, you know what? It wasn't a wreck. That's not what they want us to do. Let's do... Sink. Look, we're under the water. Sink. All right, here we go. Ink. Sink. Ink is a good sound. It's going to be S-I-N-K. And we'll learn more about that in foundation. All right, what's this girl doing? Look at her eye. What is that? Can you eat? Oh, awesome. All right, let's tap it. W ink. Wink. All right. W W. And what's an ink? I N K. Wink. All right, we're gonna go see that. Are you ready? Here we go. Eat. No. Of. Who? Under. No. Under. Eat. Who? Uh, keep practicing those words. If you're still struggling with them, you can do a potato, um, jello powder, uh, maybe a sand, a good sand tray, build them out of Lego. So many fun things that you can do. Just build them and practice reading them. Alright, that's it for today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye!